Ladies, the moment you fall in love with a man, the moment you become emotionally attached to him, he will lose interest in you. He will stop caring and slowly pull away. How many of you have heard this before? How many of you have experienced a similar scenario? Now, do you want to know what I believe? What I've gathered as a researcher, as a coach, and as a man? Well, if you stop multitasking right now, I will tell you. Yes, yeah, stop doing everything else and give me your full attention. All right, so I think that you can find a man that will fall in love with you completely, who will be consistent, caring, and give you his unwavering commitment. And he won't lose interest when you express your feelings, when you're vulnerable, when you show him how much you care. These men exist, I promise you. However, if you don't believe what I'm saying, you can click away because this video is not for you. If you want to be out there telling other women that men are useless, that women don't need men, etc., you're in the wrong channel. Go out there and just keep spreading your hatred. But if you believe in the sacred union of a man and a woman, in the devotion of two partners building a life together, then in this video, I will deconstruct the belief that men lose interest when you become attached to them. This way you can learn how to navigate your relationships when you encounter the situation. Because yes, this can happen many times and I want you to know how to avoid these type of men, how to avoid these relationships that can waste years of your life. So let's begin. Let's explore a fundamental truth about relationships that many women overlook and that is the distinction between takers and givers. And yes, you might believe that you understand the difference between these two, but be patient and listen carefully because there are many subtle ways that you could be dealing with these without realizing. Simply put, takers are like energy vampires in relationships, right? They suck up all of your love and affection, leaving you feeling drained and unfulfilled. While the givers, these are the guys who thrive on mutual exchange. They're not just in it for themselves. They genuinely want to see you happy and flourishing. Now you might be thinking, okay, Ismail, so how do I spot these takers and givers early on? Or more importantly, if you are in a one-sided relationship with a taker, are there actions that you can take to motivate him to give more? So let's talk about the differences first, and then I'll speak about how to bring out his giving side. All right, ladies, so let's dive into the signs that can help you spot a taker early on. First one is he's all about physicality. Every time that you meet up, he's only focused on physical contact. He's always trying to initiate intimacy, get physical, and when it comes to listening to you or spending quality time together in other activities, he's not as interested. Because a taker typically focuses on satisfying his own desires rather than building a genuine connection with you. What I'm saying is that as a man, if you go out there and conquer the world, you're going to get hungry and you're going to want multiple chicks. It just comes down to, do you have the value to be able to do it and pull it off? Most guys don't. So they got to sit there and be like, I'm monogamous. But most guys don't want to be monogamous. Sign number two is that they make you feel guilty or ashamed if you don't meet their demands. They start to criticize your beliefs and values as if there's something wrong in the way that you see the world. For example, I notice this a lot when a guy is trying to have sex with you but you want to take things low because you're trying to get to know him. Many guys might make you feel old-fashioned. They start asking you if there's something wrong with you. They'll say things that make you feel broken so you'll give in to their request. Number three, he's a poor listener but loves to talk about his problems and basically get free therapy from you. Every conversation revolves around him and because you're an empath, you know, you keep listening and offering support, but when it comes to your own needs or concerns, they're always in the back seat. It's a form of manipulation that aims to control your actions and keep you under his thumb. And lastly, sign number five, mixed signals where his words don't match his actions. He might say one thing, but do another, leaving you feeling confused and uncertain about where he stands. It's a classic tactic used by takers to keep you guessing and maintain their power in the relationship. The number one mistake that many women make in relationships is expecting a man to love you unconditionally. The thought that a man should love you no matter what. And at the same time, you will never love a man unconditionally, right? Because a romantic relationship between a man and a woman will only last when there's a constant exchange of value and a shared vision. If you look at your children, that's unconditional love because in a way they're a part of you. But with a partner, you have to choose each other every day to make it work. 
Okay, so now let's uncover the secret to spotting a giver in a relationship. Sign number one is when he enjoys quality time with you even when it doesn't lead to intimacy. Whether you're out on a romantic date or just chilling at home watching Netflix. Number two, he's genuinely curious about your history and the kind of future that you envision for yourself. This guy isn't just interested in superficial details, he wants to understand your past experiences and your hopes for the future. It shows that he values you as a person and wants to see if you're both compatible. The third sign is that he respects your boundaries and never pressures you to do things that make you feel uncomfortable. A giver understands the importance of consent and acknowledges your comfort level at all times. It's a sign of true respect and consideration for your feelings. Sign number four, he does things for you that require time and energy. So whenever he does something for you, ask yourself, how long did that take him? Let's say that he gives you a bracelet. That's a nice gift, but it only took him 10 seconds to buy it online. But if he brings you your favorite flowers with a note, you know that he had to walk into the shop, pick the flowers, sit down, write the note, more time means more interest. And finally, ladies, number five, a giver is all about consistency. When he says that he cares about you or expresses his feelings, his actions back it up. You notice that what he says and what he does are always perfectly aligned, showing that he's genuine and sincere in his intentions. He always makes sure to demonstrate his commitment and reliability in the relationship. You said that you want true love. But you're chasing a man who doesn't love you back. That's true. And you told me that his words don't match his actions. But what about you? Because what you're telling me is that you want to experience genuine devotion from a man, but your actions show me otherwise. The moment that you feel you need to convince someone to love you, then it's not true love, right? It's you trying to force people to see your worth. Okay, now that you understand the difference between takers and givers, Here's a secret that I want to share with you, which I saved for the end of this video. Notice that you might disagree with the things that I'm going to say next, but here's what I find to be true in my experience. And that is that most men are actually givers. Not all of them, but the vast majority. And a lot of them will behave as takers when their interest level in you is not very high. And I don't know if you've had this experience, but I know that the older ladies can let you know in the comments where well, you dated a man that took and took from you. And then after the relationship ended, he began seeing a new woman and all the things that you always asked for, but you were denied, he started giving them to her right away. And by the way, this also applies to you ladies because I've dated women in the past that were takers with another man and then they were givers with me or they were takers with me and then I saw them being givers with someone else. That being said, if you wanna make sure that you select the givers or you bring out the given side in the specific guy, the key issue is that he would need to perceive you as a high value woman. So I made a video here in the channel titled, What do men think a high value woman is? I'm going to put the link here, okay, so you can check it out. I'm sure it will open your mind to ideas that you have not considered before. All right, so enjoy watching, have a beautiful day.